You're being cheated. You're being lied to. You are being robbed. And I've got a little secret of what you can do to fight back. Let's go. One stacker on a journey to find silver. International stacker. Hey guys, International Stacker back here again with another video. Thank you all for coming back. And please, if you see a red subscribe button under this video, please subscribe. Please smash the like button. Leave a comment in the comments below. Help me beat this YouTube algorithm. Every interaction you do helps me greatly. And many of you, like 80% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please. And also a big, big, big thank you to Kalinex Minds for sponsoring this video. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. What is the difference between, between what I have in my hand? Well, those are quarters. Those are quarters. What's the difference? These are made of silver. These are made of useless metals. Anything pre-1965, so 1964 and before, quarters were 90% silver. These are worth less, worth nothing. Now, here's the crazy thing. And um, as of right now, spot is $24.32. So as of right now, one of these quarters is worth $4.40 of today's money. In 1964, what could these quarters get you? Well, in 1964, the average loaf of bread was $0.22. Cents. In 1964, the average gallon of gas was $0.30. Cents. In 1964, the average gallon of milk was $1.08, and the average price for a Ford Mustang was $2,368. Boy, have those numbers skyrocketed today. Do you remember, uh, maybe you had a dad or a grandfather or a great-grandfather that says, in my day, I used to be able to go to a movie and eat out and do all this for a dime or a nickel. Well, remember, back then, our coins were tethered to silver and our dollars were tethered to gold. So literally, this quarter from 1941, today, is worth $4.40. So things aren't getting more expensive. Inflation is ramping up as more currency is printed and it's being printed into oblivion with the hashtag beer flu and everything else. To where 25 cents back in the day, made of silver today, is worth $4.40. So imagine what you could get today for $4.40. More than a gallon of gas. That is crazy. So this is just a little thing I've been thinking about and really what it highlights is the hidden tax of inflation that we are all exposed to. And this is the reason I'm into silver and this is the reason I'm into gold to fight this inflation. Now, as you see here, I have a pretty cool little baby stack here, and you all have been following me a long time. Check out my full stack videos. I am 100% a believer in gold and silver, and I'm not a financial advisor. Important for you to know. But I see this as a hedge against inflation and a way to protect your buying power and get your money through to the other side to the next generation um, if your plan is for retirement. Now, now that I have a huge stack of silver, and I'm still working on my stack of gold, I'm into the point now where I'm starting to venture out into different investments I can do. So remember, your physical gold and silver is your protection, your safety blanket, your hedge against inflation. And I do think with how much silver is needed for clean technology, et cetera, and how much we're going to be going into space for gold, I do think there are going to be money-making opportunities for physical metals as well, although traditionally, not really. But I'm continuing my search for the best gold and silver mining companies out there. And if I think this stuff is gonna do well, well, if I can find the best miners out there um, that are the least risky, most chance of returning something back, um, that is what I'm in search for. So I've done several videos looking at different companies and I wanted to profile and do an update on a company that I highlighted before, and that's Kalinex Mines. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so here we are, and here's the website, kalinex.ca. Please come check it, uh, the information out for yourself. But 
I'm going to hit on why I'm covering this company for the second time. A lot of super exciting steps going on, but there's a lot of key things I look for um, when I'm looking at these companies. So the first thing I look at is the team. I look at expertise. I look at their buy-in, okay? So this company has massive insider ownership, which is extremely important, especially when you're talking about these small type companies, okay? Uh, these, what's called junior miners. Uh, between management, their friends, their family, et cetera, et cetera, they own more than 30%. And on top of that, institutions own another 30%. Um, so that's more than half of the company held um, by folks who would be considered what you would think are close hold or tight uh, shareholders. So that's one thing I like. Two, um, the CEO, and let me uh, go up here. The CEO of this company, uh, his name is Max Porterfield. He has like legitimately, literally put in his life savings into this company. So he has that personal buy-in. Um, to build it and get it to be huge and to make money on that, whether it's he sees it through or sells it to a bigger miner. A lot of times juniors get sold to bigger miners, uh, but he's literally betting the farm on this one. So to me, that's a good sign because that means one, he believes in it. And two, he's going to do everything he takes to make it work. Otherwise, it's going to be like, oh, I bought Dogecoin at the top and now I've died. You know what I mean? But um I covered this one, and here's a video I did before on April 28th, um, and uh, you can go check that one out if you'd like. It's called Global Economic Crisis Coming, and little did we know that that video was right on looking at what's going on today. Uh, but in recent months, uh, depending on the month and where you bought in, the shares are up uh, more than 700% in recent months, and we're going to look at the chart here in a minute. But this is an extremely fast-moving company. They're drilling as we speak and they've got multiple projects i love when companies have one multiple projects so all the at bait or the eggs yeah the eggs all the eggs are not in the same basket and two i love when they mine multiple metals because that also means all your uh eggs are not in one basket and it's diversification right um so what do we know um why do i believe silver is going to do well in the future physical silver the need for clean technologies. Um, whether you like it or not, that's the way the world's going. So the more solar panels, everything you need. Silver is literally the best conductor of electricity. It's antibacterial. It's used in the medical industry. It's uh, used in yoga pants even. Oh, come on, folks. Um, Copper is going to be needed for industry. Gold is always has thousands of years of money being monetary worth. And also, as we have more technologies in space, gold will be more important too. Uh, for circuitry because it doesn't uh, corrode. So that's another important thing. But um, they're fast. They're drilling. They've got multiple projects, uh, as you see here. They literally have no debt or very little. Um, and their geologists are amazing. Let me go back here. If you look at their geologists, their award-winning, like 40 years experience, 25 years experience, um... Uh, discover 12 uh, this person's discovered a billion mines uh, 35 years experience so that to me is critical not only do i care about the leadership and they have experience and who recognizes uranium energy corp hello folks um, by the way yeah only way to have clean energy i think in the future is nuclear no other option okay um but yeah and that kind of the ev market guys the EV market um, is going to be huge in the future, okay? Um, so just consider that. And as the world moves to inflationary environment, um, these projects they have here, and we'll go back to the projects, are literally tethered in gold, silver, zinc, and copper, just like uh, what our money used to be to be back in the day, pre-1971 and pre-'64. Uh, and also, too, I believe they have a, or, uh, they have zinc, and I have, believe they have lead in some of these projects as well. They had a huge silver discovery just a few months ago, and you guys know silver discoveries are my favorite. And uh, the timing now is good. So let me go here to the chart. Uh, currently, in the last month, we're down. So this is, I believe, in Canadian dollars. This is not... I believe I have this set to Canadian dollars. 
Um, oh no, currency in USD. Okay, so we're down to two dollars and sixteen cents. So um, to me, especially in recent days, this might be another opportunity for myself to um, maybe dip my toes in the water a little bit more. Look at this six month. So that is a prime uh, time in terms of uh, getting uh, more exposure. Because when do we like to buy? <laughs> The dip, not in the rise. Everyone buys into the mania. You talk about the tulip mania back in the day. You know, all the cryptos going big. People buy in a bunch and then they just lose their freaking shirts. So um, to me, timing on this is uh, really good right now. Let's go to max. Woo! And it's been as high as $7. And it's been to 6 And it's been to 4 And then recently it was all the way up to 357 So yeah, I'm liking that. Um, but if you check out their site, they've got a bunch of uh, these fact sheets. And guys, this is something I do. If I'm interested in a company, I really look into it. And I only talk to you all about the companies I'm really interested in. And either one, investing in, or two, um, in considering investing in. And um, I, ju I, really, I just really like Kalinex. So let's see. Okay, I wanted to show you guys here. Inflation is out of control. Look at this hockey stick. I used to take Tim Sykes' uh, penny stock trading classes back in the day, and he would have called that going supernova. I remember that penny stocks. I didn't do too well in penny stocks, guys. Uh, but look at this. And you know, but that is one reason I do like Calnex because it's a relatively cheap entry, two dollars and sixteen cents. A lot of people can get exposure to that, um, and you can go buy a hundred shares, and it's like two hundred something dollars. So that's why I, I I like the price point on this. But money's being printed into oblivion, um, as you can see by different indexes and different things going on. Electric vehicle CU, that stands for copper, demand is going through the roof, and this company does have exposure to copper. By 2027, an estimated 27 million electric vehicles will be on the roads. This could raise copper demand for electric vehicles to 1.74 million metric tons. Not only copper, but silver. Remember, silver is the best conductor of electricity. What are these galvanized gains? Zinc. Oh, this is zinc. So this is 2019 right here. So you see zinc. And they have exposure to zinc. Zinc is currently rallying to the highest price since 20. If you look here, Kellex mine stock has appreciated by 784%. Look at this back 2020. And here's another presentation. I mean, there's all kinds of great information. Um, our mission to discover and develop base and precious metal rich deposits within the established Canadian mining districts and give it all to international stack. Okay, that's not what it says. 2020, Calumex discovers high grade copper, gold, silver, zinc, Manitoba. And I remember that. That's the project I was really interested in in the past, guys. Manitoba. And that is the that was a New Brunswick. Was it Nash? I don't know. But the Manitoba project I remember is the one I was really interested in. Let's see what we got here. Uh, this is just showing how the cycle magma magma heats and it comes out. I guess I got to buy some volcanoes, evidently, guys. <laughs> uh, okay, this is talking about just, again, the team. These companies make it easy for you nowadays. Back in the day, you used to have to do a lot more research to figure stuff out, but it's all pretty forthright. There's been a lot of legislation and rules put in place that uh, force companies to be more um, transparent these days, which is good. So this is New Brunswick... Look at that cluster effect. Interesting. Just the technologies they have nowadays to see what's in the ground is pretty, pretty cool. I don't know. What do you guys think? Question one. Did any of you guys end up jumping into Kalinex last time when I spoke about it? That was April 28th. February, March, April. So that's three months. Of, so that was roughly nine months ago, give or take, that I talked about it. Did any of you jump in the deep end? Um, if you haven't seen this video, make sure to check it out. Um, it will give you a lot more basis on the company, what I really looked like at first or looked into it at first. But again, team, 
They have exposure. They have skin in the game. Uh, very low to little debt. Um, they have multiple projects. All your eggs are not in one basket. And again, they have multiple. They have uh, opportunities. So zinc, gold, silver, copper. I mean, and they'll these reports literally tell you how much is there. Look at this. 484 ounces of gold, 7.75 million ounces of silver. Oh, man. Let me loose. Let me loose in that place. So check this stuff out. I'd really encourage it. And the best place to go to get all this is going to be calinex.ca. And, again, I'm interested in your feedback. What do you think? Have, have any of you popped on this one? If not, are you considering it now? Um, and are you still stacking physical gold and silver? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you, everybody, and please remember to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to join my channel and get some unique benefits, you can click join. But just hitting that like button or leave a comment below um, would be phenomenal, and I'd greatly appreciate it. And I have videos all over the world doing crazy stuff, including the West African market, getting attacked by pirates in the Nile, uh, buying gold and silver in the Saudi Arabian gold market. So go check them out. I think you'll enjoy it. And I guess I'll say, catch you on the next one. Woo! One stacker.